In this video, we'll talk about components and their options. A component is a bunch of loose geometry inside a shell. The scale figure is a component. I can make any geometry a component. Select it, right click, and choose Make Component. This dialog box comes out. I'll name it. I can describe it if I want. Glue to is a useful option if it's a door or window and I want it to automatically align with vertical surfaces. That said, if you download a component from the warehouse and it won't align to the surface you want or is giving you similar problems, check out what it has been glued to and see if that's an issue. You might want to set it to none. Once you set it to a plane to be glued to, this option will appear. Cut opening means that the door or window or whatever component you've made will cut a hole in the plane directly behind it. You can change the component's axes if you don't want it to be aligned with the global axes. This is just a, an option for those who want to make their component in the IFC file format. Make sure that this box is checked and then click Create. The difference between a component and a group is that when you make copies of a component, whatever you do to the instance, which is the original component, will also appear on the copy. If I open the editing box and edit this component, you can see that the same thing happened to the copy. You have to perform these edits inside the editing box for them to affect all the copies. For instance, if I scale this door outside the editing box, it doesn't affect the copy. Components have other options. If I highlight it, I can choose Make Unique. That means that whatever edits I make to another component will not affect a copy. If I explode the component, that will return it to loose geometry. If the component consists of nested groups and components, I'll have to explode multiple times. Save As will let me save the component to my desktop. I have a SketchUp Components folder where I keep components I like to add frequently. Reload is an option that's interesting. Say I have a component like a tree that has a lot of detail and will slow the model down because I want a bunch of those components. I can make a placeholder component that's very simple and make lots of copies of it and when I'm almost done with the model and ready to replace it with the more detailed component, I'll right click, choose reload, navigate to where that component is, click on it, and bring it in. And of course that will affect all instances of the component. So that's a little overview of how components and their options work.